like to invite anybody who's running for office up to introduce themselves and get their name out to the crowd. And then encourage everyone to uh, recognize these folks and uh, look them up and make sure you do a uh, PayPal or a donation because it's important, every little bit helps. Hello, I'm David Matko, Libertarian candidate for Congress in the 14th Congressional District. If you are misrepresented by Stephen Lazarette, uh, you can sign a petition for me. I want to get rid of the Fed as I did in my last campaign in 2008. I want to get rid of the income tax. I want to bring all of our troops home now. Get rid of the gun control laws. See what things we need to do if we're ever going to be free again. I also have a petition for Steve Linneberry. He is the uh, Libertarian Party candidate for U.S. Senate. Uh, you can sign for him if you're a registered voter anywhere in Ohio as long as I have petitions for your county. Okay. See you again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello. Uh, my name's Kurt Liston. I'm a libertarian. I'm running for the 44th district in uh, Summit County, which is Akron. Uh, I've got some campaign literature here. I need everyone to help support our efforts. Uh, we have achieved ballot access through 2010. I will be on the ballot as well as Mr. Macko and anyone else running as a Libertarian, a Constitution Party member, anything, our name will be on there. We all need your support. Um, and I actually have, uh, I'm drafting an idea for proposing legislation to actually audit the Cleveland and Cincinnati Fed um, as something we can do extra as Ohioans. So I need everyone's help. Uh, please stop by, I'll talk to you a little bit more and I'll give you some stuff. But thanks everyone for being here, appreciate it. Thank you. Hey. Hi, I'm uh, Dan Motus. I'm running for Congress in the 17th District against uh, Representative Tim Ryan. Uh, you, many of you may know me. Uh, you know that I'm, uh, I'm running in the Democratic primary next May. But uh, just to, so you understand my credentials, I like to call myself a Rush Limbaugh Glenn Beck Democrat. I'm a conservative constitutionalist, and my aim is to take back the Democratic Party. I, I'm uh, 63 years old. When I come home from Vietnam, I actually witnessed the hijacking of that great, one-time great party. I, I got to say, there are probably 60 people serving in our Congress right now who I consider anti-Americans, and they finally got a president to back them up. So I, I'm going to run in the May primary. My goal is to go down there and fight against that party. That, is that they do not represent the Democrats that I talk to in this area. So I'm hoping that you folks will get behind my effort. Uh, you can go to danmodus.org. There's a contact information on there. I know if you, like me, have taken part in these demonstrations, and I've been to seven tea parties now, you're eager to strike a blow. And it seems like the earliest opportunity is in November. You should know our earliest opportunity is next May. We got a chance to take Tim Ryan out next May. I'm hoping that uh, you can help me. And if you have any questions, I'll be here all day. Stop up and talk to me. Thank you. Is there any other candidates that are uh, running for uh, national or local offices? Uh, I know that uh, we should. How you feel? I think it's Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be anywhere. Every time I come to Cleveland, I get an upset stomach. Every time I come here, I'm fighting for my life. Technically, the government can come in and put handcuffs on me without a hearing and take me off to prison. So I guess I better watch what I say. Nah, you don't want to hear that. Well, it's good to see you. It's not a great turnout. Problem with America, America is concerned, but not involved. Anxious, but passive. And many times, afraid. Some people are afraid to even whisper their concerns. 
Everybody's talking about ending the Fed. See my little button? Quite frankly, most people that tackle the Fed don't understand the money system. They do more harm than good. It's not a simple thing. It's very complicated. They'll say that the Fed is separate and apart. And to the degree of that, it is a private entity. But there is federal oversight. So as a result, every move that's made to abolish the Federal Reserve System falls upon the shoulders of upset people who are not well schooled in understanding of the monetary system enough to affect those ends, and it usually backfires. So I want you to listen very carefully to what I have to say today. The Fed should be abolished. The rudiments of the Fed must be brought under the scope of the Constitution back to the Congress of the United States. But keep in mind, there will be those opponents who come out and say, do you want your monetary system under the auspices of certain politicians in Washington? And they'll continue to denigrate that chain. But you see, ending the Fed is only the second phase of the process that's needed in the United States. We are bankrupt. And the Fed has become nothing more than a behavior modification program for the economy of the United States. But that behavior modification program is manifested through a very complicated and sophisticated tax code. So when I'm talking to you today, I'm talking to you about not just the Fed, Federal Reserve System, I'm talking about the progressive income tax. And I want you to listen very carefully, because you have to be better schooled more knowledgeable. Keep in mind the predicate foundation of Karl Marx's communist program was a progressive income tax. An income tax that is in fact right now in place in the United States of America. It rewards dependency, subsidizes illegitimacy, penalizes achievement and investment, chases companies away, creates a second class and maybe even a third class United States of America of citizens in a state of despair. Living in homes that are boarded up. No one would believe people live inside. And many of these impacted people have no voice. And the voice that exists that contests this whole system is so fragmented and so compartmented it has no real voice.